Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial here for you today. So we're doing this one here. So um, I'm not sure if this pattern has been done before and um, it's basically a combination of uh, the gear wheel kind of knot alongside the knots uh, that we use for the snake trail. So um, yeah, I'm going with trailblazer for this one. I don't, I'm not sure if it's been done before. If it has, please correct me, but anyways, uh, yeah, this one turned out quite well, but it's quite simple too. So we went with this nice blue accent, the gold paracord. Really like this color combination. Gonna have to use it uh, more in the future. But yeah, this is the one we're doing today. This one going on buckles and uh, yeah, overall turned out great. So guys, remember if you're looking for where to get paracord, check out those affiliate links down below because when you shop through those, you're helping out this channel greatly. And I always appreciate that. All right, so that being said, guys, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I've got my paracord ready here, and we're doing the four strand core with the double cow hitch on each side. So, if you don't know how to do that, remember, as always, you can check my dedicated tutorial for that link in the description down below. So, let's start off with the right side. So, uh, off to my side, I have my accent color, which I'll be working with shortly. And uh, here we go. Let's start with the right strand. So we're going to take this strand, we're going to go underneath the uh, outer cord on the right hand side, and then we're going to go through and above this cord here. So if you've done the snake trail or the hex nut uh, paracord bracelet, uh, it's a very similar to that. So we do that on one side, let's do that on the other side as well. Okay, you don't have to start with the end. I'm just doing this for clarity, of course. So again, um, this end of this working strand, go underneath the outer strand there and pull everything through. Okay, so we'll cinch these guys all the way up here. Now, let's grab our working or accent color keeps dropping on the floor for me sorry so let's take this cord put it as such so underneath the first cord here over the two middle cords and under the one on the right outside and then just um, push push up about there have maybe an inch or so sticking out and now we're going to take the end of this working uh, this, this strand here, the accent color. We're going to come through the middle here and bring it towards you and just kind of hold that um, strand there for now. So this knot is very similar to that uh, gear wheel knot. It's almost like a gear wheel knot pattern going down the middle like that and then we'll bring this right here okay so now that we've done that one that first started the accent now we're going to go back to the strand on the right and we're going to this time go over sorry go um under these uh two strands on the right bring everything through and then take that end and put it through here, through this loop, right? So it's like we're doing that cow's hitch again. So lock that down right here and push it up. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Go a little faster and this time I'm just gonna push the cord through like this. We'll go underneath these two strands here and then bring all the cord through the middle there as such like that and then tighten that up okay so that is kind of like the first set of knots to get us started all right, so now to continue the next set, we're going to essentially re uh, recreate the same pattern, starting with our accent cord this time, though. Um, 
we're going to well you could tie the side knots first but it doesn't really matter let's just do this so again we're going to bring this out we're essentially wrapping it around the two middle strands bring the strand in between the third and fourth strand okay like so bring that over the two middle ones and then go underneath the first strand right and then now take this cord here the end of that make sure you go behind like so okay i'm coming underneath this one too so go behind and through the middle bring that all the way through and now move this all the way up try to get this as high as possible just work the cord up and then bring that cord back down through the middle here okay so then now we can tie our um, knots on the side again so again this one starts with uh, going underneath sorry So this one starts with going over top like so. Bring that cord through. Pull that up. Like that. See, this one always goes above. So I guess, you know what? Change my mind. <laughs> Tie this one first, but you could do either or. But as long as that knot goes right above this one. Okay, and then let's just do the other side. So that was underneath. Sorry, over top and then underneath. Getting all confused here, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a long week. Okay, there we go. So bring that above like so. And then you can kind of fix this guy here. Make sure that's pushed all the way up. And then now for this one. This time we go underneath, bring that through, push that up like so. Again on this side, go underneath, bring that through. Push that up. So these knots on the side will definitely help hold that uh, accent cord see and also notice when I pulled on it too tightly on the sides kind of caused that one to split or that uh, accent color to come apart so we don't want to do that to try to keep everything together for this one like so okay so that is kind of the look we're going for right there see that you want to be able to see that kind of cross in the middle this first one's not as evident just because i think when it was getting started it didn't work as well but that's what we're going for let's do that one more time so again this one goes over the cord bring that through to the side again this one goes over and under Like so, bring that to the side. And now we do our accent, bring that to the right, bring the middle over and under, and then take that, again, that middle end go behind. See, I'm going behind this one. And go through the middle like so try to get all the excess out I believe the hardest part for this one will be keeping that accent color in check okay like that and push that up right about there okay and then now for this one, then we go over, 
sorry, under and then over. This one even gets a little confusing for me. Under and then over. Like that. Under and over. Okay, and that is essentially the pattern. Trick is, uh, yeah, again, keep trying to keep that accent chord taut. It's going to want to slip apart because you're sort of pulling on these, but uh, you want to be able to see those kind of crosses in the middle. Okay, so uh, yeah, continue weaving this pattern all the way down, and then uh, we'll figure out what to do to secure those chords. All right, so I made my way down to the end. Definitely going to need your fids to finish this one off. Uh, I did my last set here, so I'm going to use fids on my accent here. I go around. This will probably be the last set of knots I can do. Okay, so we got that accent last done, and now I'm just going to use the fids to finish off the last knot. Okay, so to finish it off, um, we can just snip and singe these side chords here, the working gold strands. And as for the accent, let's do this. Um, still got my fid on the blue chord. I'm just going to feed it under these two knots here. I think that should be more than enough. Let's go under here, here. Just tuck that underneath. So, and you can just snip and singe it right there. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it looks okay too, right? So, uh, yeah, snip and singe off all that excess, and then we'll be done. Yeah, and don't forget to uh, snip and singe off that one as well. Okay, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. So I got the excess paracord snipped off, and this one's looking pretty good. Ended up making this one a little small for me, but uh, it still works, and of course I will adjust the uh, measurements in the uh, beginning of the video accordingly all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, yeah i think we're going with trailblazer for this one i don't really know if this one has been done like this before but if it has been please correct me anyways uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one you guys remember if you're looking forward to get paracord check out those affiliate affiliate links down below because when you shop through those you're helping out this channel greatly and uh yeah so all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one